and today I am here in Lincoln at Eric Ho's house and today I am in his studio which is by the way very awesome and today I'm going to be talking about the mind. So all I'm going to say for starters is that if you want to change your life you need to change your thinking and your mindset to do it. So what I'm going to be talking about today is how the mind works and the belief system and different things like that. So basically, you need if someone wait, if you need to change your mind, you need to do it before anybody else does. So basically, I'm just gonna draw a circle. Don't mind if it's not perfectly accurate, but so this is a circle, so this is your mind basically. And then this is your belief system. This is your identity. This is your identity and your belief system is there. Well, let me tell you something. The mind cannot reject. So you can trick your mind into thinking it, but did you know that 90% 90% we are thinking, subcon we are running subconsciously. Now this is the mind. Now, as I was saying, if you want to get into a habit, if you want to change a routine, there's something I need to tell to you. Your mind is always in a routine. So let's say you've got three cups. As I was saying, not very accurate, but it's a cup. So you've got three cups. Now the mind is used to having these three cups in the same order, basically. So if you were to move, let's say, this cup over here, the mind is going to obviously start freaking out because you're going to be like, no, we go there. Because it's not used to it. Because it's not used to it, so then. So then, so then, if you move it there, your mind is gonna, your mind is gonna start freaking out. Basically, your mind is gonna start freaking out because it's not used to having that same routine. So what you need to do, twenty-one days, is will give you a new habit and consistent. 21 days will get you in a new habit. So if you if you want to get if you want to get to a new if you want to get to a new routine if you want to get to a new routine basically that means that you're going to have to do that more than 21 times for your mind to start being like oh yeah okay then it's okay if that cup goes there because it's now it's getting used to it. So also we are um, just to let you know if you're just going to be like oh my gosh like because um, we're also going to go on a boat ride so we'll also be doing a Facebook live when we're on the boat looking around Lincoln and the lovely neighbourhood because this is the first time here in Lincoln so just don't be a bit surprised if, if Eric just comes walking and being like oh yeah do you want to go on the boat now so it's going to be a kind of you know a mix up but there will be some neighbourhood sites for you to see on this Facebook, on this Facebook Live. So, if you've got any questions, just comment them down below. Now, as I was saying, you need to, if you want to be on the personal development journey, you need to, you need to change your mindset, as I was saying, because this whole Facebook Live is based on the mindset. So, but to be honest with you, the mindset is not that hard to change, but what you need to make sure is you need to be in the process. And it also means that you need to start being resourceful and using the resources around you. So, books is one step you can do to help your mindset help into whatever you want to change your mindset into. So number one is books. There are many amazing 
amazing books out there that have that have some amazing knowledge some amazing knowledge in them some amazing knowledge in them and if you want to read the books sneak peek there might be a book coming out by me so don't forget to pre-order so but so books has books have a lot of knowledge in them and they're especially ones that are based on self-development, personal development, things like that, like confidence-wise, fearless-wise, things like that, money-wise, business-wise, anything, because books, that is the easiest way to find it, so books is one good way to do it. Two, surround yourself. Now, this is very, very important because let's say that, let's say there's a person and all her friends are, well, all her friends are negative, but she's spending so much time around them, which means basically she's going to turn negative herself because she's spending too much time with them. Now, let's say this is you. I know you're not a, a circle, but... This is you, and then if you're with successful people, so let's say, and then you've got these people who are, who are successful. That means you'll be successful because you start developing the same mindset as those successful people do. So if, so that's you, that's the successful people. So you're going to start developing the same mindset as them and you're going to be using their energy because your energy reflects their energy or their energy reflects your energy. Either way, it makes sense. So, unfortunately, that is the end of my Facebook Live and I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and like my page as well and like this video and also i do have a youtube channel myself so go and click that subscribe button it's inspired vanessa and now keep keep online for now because there will be another facebook live looking around the beautiful neighborhood of lincoln see you guys later bye